Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. In today's video, we're going to go over how to start working with Google Sheets, a basic tutorial and some basic functions that we're going to go through. So let's get into it. Audio Jungle. So in today's so in today's tutorial, we're going to go over some of the basic uh, stuff that you should know in Google Sheets. So if you ever work with Microsoft Excel, it's pretty much the same thing when working with um, Google Sheets or it's pretty much the same thing when you, if you know how to work with Microsoft Excel, then you can work with uh, Google Sheets. It's the exact same, you know, doing bold functions, underlines, italics, uh, doing a sum to do an addition. So it's fairly straightforward, but if you haven't worked with Microsoft Excel, then this is probably the best alternative, if not probably better because it's free. Um, with Microsoft Excel, I use Mac, so I use the Mac version for Microsoft Excel, and I think I pay about $200 a year uh, with my G, G Suite, but sorry, with my Microsoft Excel um, package, but with Google Sheets, it's completely free, and you can share it, you can edit it. It pretty much works exactly like Outlook um, files or um, Microsoft Excel, but it's completely free. And the reason why I'm starting to move over more to the G Suite is because when you're working with Microsoft Excel, you do a file, you do a save. You could, um, if you don't have the cloud version, you start saving all your files into certain folders, and it kind of gets lost. And when you work with G Suite, you can quickly find all of those files. In your library so I'll show you over here on, on my PC when I go to Google Sheets um, you can go over here and let me just save this first I'm just gonna call it uh, beginners tutorial so it's gonna save here right in my drive so I'll just show you when I go over here sheets home so as I go to sheets home you can see beginners tutorial and when you're in docs.google.com you can kind of just do a search tutorial and right there beginners tutorial so let's get into so let's get into going over the basics of Google Sheets so the first thing you want to do is go to docs.google.com and let's just go through some of these basic functions so I'm going to just go over you know you quickly put in text I'll just put in testing testing and testing now if you're familiar with Microsoft Excel to do a bold what you can do is just press command this is a quick keyboard go command B and you can see that it's highlighted. Now, if you wanted to do an underline, you can do Control U, and it underlines it. Now, if you wanted to do an italic, just do Control I, and it does an italic. So we'll just recap that: Control B for bold, Control U for underline, and Control I for italic. Now, if you wanted to increase the font of this just come over here and select the font size so if you wanted to do an undo you could do command z command z command z command z command z all the way back out now let's say you had you know all of these three that you wanted to highlight what you can do is just left click or shift click and highlight so I'm doing this with my mouse right now. So what you can do is just click over here, click on shift, and click on the arrow. And see how I am clicking on with the arrow. Now what this is gonna allow me to do is bulk action these to bold them. So I'll do control B, control U, and control I to underline them. So that is how to bold, underline, and italic. And to rename this spreadsheet, like I mentioned, you can just come over here. You can name that sheet here. 
and that'll save automatically into your drive. And as you can see, all changes are saved in the drive. And the, the beauty of this is it actually saves it automatically for you. And to rename this sheet, let's say you had this sheet and this was filled with, for example, stuff that you're doing with one of your sons or one of your kids. Let's say, you know, my one of my sons' name is Liam. So, you know, I can come over here to the sheet and this is, you can right click and you could rename sheet and I'll just say sheet A, A sheet. And now let's say you wanted to kind of duplicate everything to the next sheet. You can come over here to the top left. And what you're going to do is do the command C. Now that will copy everything. Now you can create another sheet, add sheet. And at the bottom left, we can rename it to sheet B. Now if you wanted to paste everything, click on the top left there and click command then V and it copied everything over. So that's how to do the bold, the underline, the italic, rename a sheet. Now if you're doing math and you want to do a quick sum, I like to use this in sheets a lot because when I'm doing calculations of um, working with customers and getting paid, let's say you had to create this whole column to a numeric value, what you want to do is just click over here. You want, sorry, you just want to click over here and what you want to do is just click on format currency. So now everything here, if you put numeric, will be a dollar value. Now you can adjust the decimal, decimal places to the left or the right. So now you want to start entering some numbers. And if you wanted to, you know, expand the column, see as you can't see it, you can come over here and just double click. And it'll expand it. See, let's say it was cut off. You can double click on here and it'll auto expand. Or alternatively, you can just put your mouse point over here, left click and drag it. You can make the column wider. Now, if you want to center everything, click on that row and click over here and center. Now the next thing we're going to go over is just to do a sum. So let's say you want to total everything here. What I like to do is just click on total. Like I mentioned before, you can bold. Make sure it's highlighted first, this area. You can bold and underline. Change the font size to 12. Now come over here and what we are going to do is the sum value. So we're going to total everything up. So we're going to click on the first cell. You can do a shift and a down. Right where it's empty. And what you want to do is click on sum. So the sum function is right here. And then you want to just click on sum. And click on enter. Sorry, let me just reverse that. Um, if you wanted to undo that, like I mentioned before, Command Z. Now what you want to do is a little bit different in Excel. So in Google Sheets, you just highlight the last um, row here. And what it'll do is it'll bring the sum down to here. So watch when I do this. And I'll click on sum and you click on enter and it goes right down there. So that is how you click and perform a sum function or add everything from here to the bottom. And now we're going to go over, like I mentioned, saving, saving it automatically saves. Um, now let's get into how to share this file. Now let's say you wanted to share this file with someone, um, an employee, your son, your daughter, your spouse. So you come over here you know, and click on share, private to me only. Now what you can do is start putting in someone's name. So let's just put in um, my email, marketing.com. Please don't spam me, please, please, please. Now what you can do is give them permissions. You know, they can edit, 
they can comment, they can view. And then all you'd have to do is write a note. This is the spreadsheet for us. Notify people and click send. Now you can get into more advanced functions. Um, private only, you can access it. Right, so there are some other options. Send a copy to myself. And then you could also copy the link here. So copy the link. And then paste it an email to someone or send it into you know hangouts. And click on done. And that is it for sharing. Now what you can do, let's just um, come over here. Keyboard viewer. So now what we're going to do is, if you want to print this, two ways of actually printing your Excel sheet is come over to File and just click on Print. Now it's going to show you exactly how it'll look. On the right hand side, it'll say, you know, Print Current Sheet, the letter, the paper size, portrait or landscape, and then Fit to Width. So that's how you print, pretty straightforward, exactly like Excel. Now you can just click on Next. Now this is gonna bring up your printer properties. So I'm printing on a Brother Laser Toner. Now you can save it as PDF, depending on if you have that function, but I'm gonna select my printer, which is a Brother wireless printer. All pages, copies. I like to open up more settings because sometimes by default, depending on your printer or your settings. This is usually selected print on both sides. I remember printing a whole bunch of pages and it was actually printing on both sides. And when I, I wanted everything to print on one side, but it didn't do that and you know, it just gave me a big headache because I had to redo and I wasted X amount of sheets. So just make sure you have your settings right. I always like to go into the more settings and after that you click on print. Another way to do this function is, or to print, is just come over here, just click on the print icon and it'll open up the same settings that we went through before. And another shortcut way of doing it is if you're printing a lot and you just wanted a keyboard shortcut, just do Command and P. And that opens up the same parameters to print. So that is it for Google Sheets. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please comment, subscribe, and I'll do another video. But let me know if what you want to see for Google Sheets or any other how-to videos. And thanks again for watching.